turned Missouri baseball into a national phenomenon in the 1970s and 80s, leading the Kansas City Royals and St. Louis Cardinals to first place finishes and postseason glory. Along the way, Whitey Herzog helped create a fundamentally strong strategy based on pitching, defense, and speed, perfectly tailored to his club's ballparks, a concept that became known as Whitey Ball. Doral Norman Elvert Herzog was born on November 9, 1931, in New Athens, Illinois, and he grew up watching big league games in nearby St. Louis. The lefty swinging outfielder did well enough as an amateur to sign with the Yankees in 1949, but found his path to the big leagues blocked in the well-stocked New York farm system. But Yankees manager Casey Stengel took a liking to Herzog and began schooling the youngster in the intricacies of the game. Herzog would eventually be traded by the Yankees to the Senators and went on to play eight seasons for Washington, Kansas City, Baltimore, and Detroit. But it was after he hung up his spikes that Herzog found his true calling. Herzog became a coach with the Athletics soon after his playing career ended then joined the Mets as a coach and later became part of their player development office. He helped acquire many of the players who led the Mets to the World Series title in 1969 and the National League pennant in 1973. But by the fall of 72, Herzog had signed on to become manager of the Texas Rangers, a position he held for most of the 1973 season before being dismissed. After serving as a coach and interim manager for the Angels in 1974, Herzog took over a young Royals team midway through the 1975 campaign. The next season, in just their eighth year in the American League, the Royals won the AL West. Herzog led the Royals to division crowns in 1977 and 78 as well, each time losing to the Yankees in the ALCS. Dismissed from the Royals following the 1979 season, Herzog signed on with the Cardinals in 1980, taking over as both field manager and general manager. He quickly restocked the Redbirds with a number of trades, including acquisitions of future Hall of Famers Bruce Souter and Ozzie Smith in back-to-back off-seasons. By 1982, the Cardinals sat atop the baseball world after defeating the Brewers in the World Series, and Whitey Ball began spreading throughout the game favored by teams with artificial turf fields and speed-laden lineups. Herzog led the Cardinals to National League pennants in both 1985 and 87, losing seven game World Series each time. He was named the BBWAA's Manager of the Year in 85 and was widely considered one of baseball's best tacticians throughout the decade of the 80s. He stepped away from the dugout during the 1990 season with 1,281 wins and a 532 winning percentage, leading his teams to six first place finishes along the way. Whitey Herzog was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2010.